uh, we have this angel who extended to us a concept, a new concept for us to work on that I think will propel us uh, to the next level. Uh, because as you know, Malaysia right now, uh, we are having difficulties in engaging the B40 group to make them more productive, to get them out of poverty and so forth. And uh, this morning, I'm so happy that I can introduce to you this angel who has come into our midst to introduce to us and link us with the Hong Leong Bank to, get, to kick off this project, to lend this micro credit to 40 people. So I'd like you to take a look at this young man. Uh, is the camera? Oh, okay, that's all right. I'll come into frame. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yes. Hello, good morning. Can you all see this handsome young man? Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot see. Got a mask. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. His name is Andrew Tan. Andrew Tan. Uh, I have known Andrew for many, many years. And uh, he's, uh, I would call him a self-achiever in the sense that this is a young man who is very, very motivated to uh, achieve something remarkable in life for himself, for his family, and as for others. Andrew Tan is the angel who brought us this concept. And this morning for the soft launch, uh, Andrew is here to explain to us and introduce to us this, uh, to me, is like a new level of breakthrough for Ventros into the de next decade. And uh, I would like to have you uh, welcome An Andrew and hear from him uh, how he has managed to uh, arrange this uh, microcredit to make it available to us to touch base with the B40 group and how we can expand our business network all over Malaysia through this new concept. Now, uh, you have to listen very carefully and pick up all the points so that uh, by this first meeting with him, you already have uh, grasped most of the uh, details of this concept. Uh, trust me, uh, Andrew is the one guy who is ever willing to come and help us to uh, deliver, to make this uh, workable concept that will bring much prosperity to one and all. And uh, so right now, uh, i like to have Andrew come on board to explain to us. Uh, let's give him a big hand, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, or very high expectations put upon me. Uh, you know, but Mr. Lim has been an inspiration for me, uh, especially growing up. So uh, I think it's almost uh, the trajectory that I've had uh, was hugely influenced, uh, you know, by the uh, kindness and graciousness of uh, Mr. Lim. Um, well, you know, let's let's start by talking about um, you know the very simple fact that banks only want to give money to those who don't really need it. Uh, and I think that's a fact, right? You know, banks are always trying to sell you an extra credit card when you already have two or three. Uh, and, you know, those who can afford a home loan would usually go shopping. It is the underserved guys who really do need the money, uh, whether it's to start a business, education loan and such, that actually struggle. Um, so that's the purpose of uh, Elfi Tech. So I'm the CEO and founder of uh, Elfi Tech. We focus on alternative credit scoring. Uh, you know, big words and very boring, but essentially what we do is we help, um, you know, what we call the tin file uh, borrowers gain trust from the bank. Uh, and the banks really only want to know two things. Uh, will you repay them? And how would you repay them? Um, so, you know, those are the two key questions that we try to answer uh, and help you answer uh, and the people that you work with. So let me just do a very quick uh, presentation and then uh, we can go into 
Q&A as well as a demo for the app. Uh, let's keep this schedule. So if you have any questions at any time, please just stop me uh, and then uh, happy to you know, make it more of a discussion uh, as opposed to a presentation. Uh, if you don't mind, can you help me with the uh, sharing? Okay. Um, Are you sharing? Um, Are you? Yeah. Yeah, screen. Yeah. All right, the slides will come on shortly. Okay, wow. right. So the collaboration that we have um, between LP Tech and Hong Leong is that um, Hong Leong Hong Leong is well probably the third or fourth biggest bank in Malaysia in terms of uh, the size of the group. Um, and one of the key drivers for them is how do they remain competitive in a very overcrowded market? Digital banks are coming in uh, and you know the unexplored uh, segment really is uh, the B40 guys. The way that the bank really does the credit scoring and the products that they have are really not uh, structured or well suited uh, to the needs of the guys who generally could be gig workers, they could be housewives, um, they could have irregular income. So these are the segments that the banks are not very familiar with. Uh, next page, please. So this is where we come in. Um, and what we want to do is LP's mission here, and, and where we link up the bank and everyone else, uh, is to build a credit profile. Um, and you know how we do that is we use social finance. Now, social finance is a subset of um, the banking uh, products. Um, specifically, we are using this product called a Court Hassan, which is an Islamic finance product, but it is open to anyone, right? It's not a Muslim product, it's just that it is Islamic finance based. The good thing about social finance is that it is micro. Um, the design of our version of um, this social finance is that it has zero interest rate or zero profit rate, uh, which means uh, you know if we give you a thousand ringgit uh, credit line, you pay a thousand uh, ringgit. That's it, right? So very straightforward. And what we do um, with who we call the beneficiaries, right? Uh, the people that we onboard to work with you to buy the uh, Ventros inventory and to sell, uh, we give them a thousand ringgit credit line. Now, let me explain this credit line concept very clearly, right? This credit line belongs to the beneficiary to buy inventory from Ventros. And during this period, right? In the first month, you get a thousand ringgit. If you spend a thousand ringgit and you have the sales, uh, we didn't say a week, that thousand ringgit gets topped up. Meaning to say that the challenge here is how many times can you cycle this 1,000 ringgit? And if you can do you know, 1,000 ringgit worth of sales a month um, versus someone who can do it a week, then obviously the person who is doing it uh, every week for a total of 4,000 ringgit is better utilizing this credit line. The way we want to do this is, you know, really there's, there's, there's no free money in this world, right? Um, and one of the things that we want structured into this product is uh, features of a loan, right? So every month there's an 85 ringgit repayment on the credit line, meaning to say, first month you start with 1,000, the second month you start with 915 and so on. Um, but the idea is that whatever that is the figure after deducting that month's payment is available for you for that 30 days, right? Because it will be topped up um, each time there is a sale. So this is available for 12 months. Um, we want to have a minimum of 20% gross profit to the beneficiaries. This is very important, right? Because um, the whole idea here is we want to bring in beneficiaries who might not be skilled, they might have minimal entrepreneurial skills. We want to build them up. 
We want to make sure that they are able to gain a reasonable returns for the uh, time investment and to make it attractive enough. Um, but the idea here is that this is a side income. This is not a primary business uh, for these uh, target group. It could be. Um, but the whole idea here is we want to set them on a pathway. Uh, and over one year, what we will be doing alongside the bank is we'll be looking at three things. We want to understand the repayment behavior. Are the beneficiaries repaying the 85 ringgit on time? And on time means the last Friday of every month. So this is where Ventrox will help you uh, and the beneficiaries by making sure that the 85 ringgit is available from the uh, 1,000 uh, credit line to be made payable to the bank's collection account. You cannot miss this uh, repayment, right? Because the whole idea here is that to prove that the beneficiary is a good borrower uh, is to show that they can pay on time, right? So we cannot afford any late payments. Second thing is that as part of this program, um, everyone who is approved uh, will need to sign up for a Hong Leong Islamic Bank savings account. Uh, and this savings account uh, belongs to the beneficiary even after the program. Uh, and what happens here is that the commissions or the uh, profits from the sales will be deposited into this bank account. What you want to do with the money um, is totally up to the beneficiary. They own the money, right? It's already earned. It's up to them. But what we will be interested to look at in terms of analytics is, are there any savings behaviors? Uh, are they putting in additional money into this uh, savings account? All of these are good habits of a behavior because it generally then uh, shows the bank as well as Elfie that, hey, this guy is not only making money, uh, he's saving, right? Uh, and again, this boosts the confidence of uh, the bank uh, knowing that this person is a good borrower. Third one, which is the most important, is that we are able to certify and verify that this income uh, was genuine and it happened and it's accurate and complete, right? Uh, a lot of the uh, uh, you know B40 type uh, borrowers go to the bank and say, "Hey, I I need a motorcycle loan, five thousand ringgit," and when the bank asks for evidence of income, um, they are unable to provide it either because it's cash based, they are doing odd jobs uh, or they have multiple jobs, um, but you know not necessarily pay slips and such. So the verified income is very important because the bank, when they calculate the debt serviceability ratio, whether you can afford the loan or not, will be based on this verified income. So at the end of the day, at the end of this 12 months, uh, we will provide an equivalent of a credit bureau or a CTOS score um, to the beneficiaries. And if you know they do really well, they are now uh, considered bankable, right? Hong Leong might consider, okay, this group of guys, they've done pretty well. Their average income is, say, 1,000 plus, 2,000 ringgit uh, from this program alone. Um, so we are happy to provide them, you know, micro SME loan of up to 10 times, say. Uh, you know, so suddenly you now have 10,000 available working capital to expand your business. So at the end of that one year, you know, the beneficiaries are now ready to really go into business because they have the skills, they have some track record, they understand how to run the business. Uh, and now they also have available uh, working capital. That is the intention. This is open to anyone. Uh, we are very loose with the definition of B40, but we do have a preference for certain groups. Uh, you know, it, it comes back to, you know, uh, how our personal uh, lives have uh, been influenced by the events around us. Uh, so, you know, we want to focus on single parents, right? I'm not saying single mothers, single parents, right? Because uh, even single fathers could be struggling. We want to look at unemployed youth, which is becoming a big problem in Malaysia right now. So while they are looking for a permanent job, can they be doing this so that they have some side income? Um, totally. 
Uh, we also understand that a lot of orphans uh, are forced to leave the orphanage upon turning 18. The day, the birthday, on the 80th birthday, they have to leave. It is a very daunting and very scary world when you know you don't have any support. The only environment that they've ever known, uh, which is within the orphanage, and now they're kicked out. So can we onboard these guys uh, and provide them some basic income before they go into the real world? Um, and the third one, uh, OKU, because this is uh, based on a drop shipping e-commerce model, right? You can do it at your free time, you can do it at home, uh, as long as you have a computer, um, you know, you can do it anywhere. And this is really good for OKU. Um, we started a version of this program before we started uh, working with Hong Dong during the MCO. Uh, and it was very uh, interesting because uh, with OKUs, even if they could work, the danger of leaving home, being on public transport and going to their workplaces and all that sort of stuff, uh, this was obviously a very different option and a much safer option. Uh, so again, you know, we're trying to do the little bits that we can uh, to improve quality of life, um, provide some relief financially. Um, and, you know, one of the key uh, criteria for us, LV, in terms of social impact, right, um, is our firm belief in this. If we can take away financial pressures and financial stress from a B40 home, hopefully that means that, you know, they can have a bit more peace, a bit more happiness, Kids can remain in school. Uh, potentially, you know, one parent might not have to work, um, yet still be able to earn some income. So, you know, those are some of the aspirations uh, on Elfie's side for this program. So let me just stop here for a moment uh, and take any questions that you might have. Oh, can we continue? No questions? Okay. Perhaps the next slide, please. Can we go to the next slide? Yeah. Oh. The slides are not uh, <laughs> moving. No. In the year, it's Andrew. <coughs> Ms. Andrew, while waiting I, for the slide to come forward, huh, are you very particular about the B, B40 or the, they are in the borderline with M20, the M40? Right. Uh, don't worry about that because um, one of the things that we do is our algorithm, our alternative credit scoring algorithm will decide whether or not they're eligible. So don't worry about it on your side. Uh, you can, you know, as long as they're interested, and you believe that they are willing to work for it, uh, please onboard them. There's no issue whatsoever. And you don't have to worry about the uh, terminology. They don't have to be necessarily uh, B40 and all that sort of stuff. We will be uh, responsible for the classification. And to be really frank with you, I mean, the bank also is quite loose about this. Um, what's more uh, important for us is that we are able to target the right um, group and that uh, the results of this uh, will help them become bankable. Uh, you know, we have been doing this for almost two years plus now. Uh, and, and the reality is that there are some who want this type of uh, financing, uh, but they don't really want to do anything about it and they expect to earn some income. That doesn't happen here. Some have also asked us directly, can we get the cash instead of uh, getting uh, inventory to sell? The answer is no, um, because really we don't want to encourage um, that sort of behavior. We also don't want the beneficiaries to be holding stock uh, because essentially the, the level of uh, trust with the beneficiary needs to be built over time, right? So no cash, no inventory, drop shipping model, they get the customers, they put in the orders, uh, logistics and the uh, payment collection and all that will be done by Ventros. 
Creepwood? Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, does that satisfy your question, sir? Yes, yeah, thank you very much. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, let's move on. Um, so this is the operating model that we have. Um, Gum start. So Hong Leong is quite specific about the use of the Hong Leong Bank name and logo. Uh, our program is specifically under this uh, um, initiative called Jumpstart. Um, and this Jumpstart is the um, um, channel, if you will, uh, for the bank to uh, disperse funds to us. You can think of Elfi as the fund manager in the sense that uh, the money sits with us and we disperse the funds. Uh, to the various suppliers and partners that we have. Uh, so, you know, step two uh, in this diagram is we really want to encourage anyone who's interested and understands the model uh, to apply through our app. Now, let me also um, elaborate a bit more about this. Um, we have probably hundreds of applications um, and a lot of them don't necessarily go through um, for a variety of reasons. But one of the main reasons is that they don't understand the program and they think that this is something like RIM uh, or that they think it's Zakat uh, where the, uh, it's cash-based, right? This is not cash-based. Uh, we give them inventory credit for them to purchase inventory to sell. Right, uh, that is the basis of this program. That's why we are working with Ventros. That's why we are working uh, with you. Uh, so, you know, the idea here is we want them to be very clear that joining a program to learn entrepreneurship, to develop certain skills to be a, a micro SME. Uh, and part of that is that we support them with the seed financing to start this business. Um, and that is the essence of this program. Uh, everything is done through our app, uh, which is called Elfi. Um, and within the app, we try to make it as simplified as possible. I'll do a demo for you afterwards. Uh, the idea here is that um, the application is all digital. The uh, contract signing is digital. The approval, all these are through the app. The only manual component is um, we have arranged with the Hong Leong guys to leverage on uh, their MDS, Mobile Deposit Services Team. So what these guys do is for each beneficiary that you onboard, if they are approved uh, by Elfi and the bank, uh, the MDS team will go to wherever the beneficiaries are to help them open the bank account. Uh, this is a very special service that uh, we have managed to uh, get for this program because we're looking at, you know, even rural uh, communities, semi-rural, urban, uh, and this convenience is very helpful, especially if, you know, they're single parents, they cannot leave the home, uh, or that, you know, they might be working part-time or full-time and they just don't have the convenience to go to a bank and uh, do all these uh, administrative stuff. Uh, so it's very easy, you know, the uh, MBS team will call the beneficiaries up, make an appointment, they'll bring the device to do uh, the uh, IC scanning, the thumbprint, um, fill up the form, and the uh, savings account will be open. So really, really simplified. Um, so once they've been onboarded, approved, we'll disperse the funds to Ventros. Um, and then the beneficiaries will be informed that, okay, your account is now active. Uh, you can basically uh, start your business, right? Uh, and the choice of uh, products uh, available, I think in this case, it'd be only Fortico. Um, so, you know, allocated to them, they can start uh, selling. So while this happens, it's a back-to-back -back arrangement, right? Um, as long as there are orders, uh, it will surely be funded and Ventros uh, will be able to disperse. Um, and then from there, it's really, uh, you know, do the best that they can to bring in the sales, uh, to undergo the necessary training, to, you know, uh, continue to expand their network, uh, look for uh, new customers, 
And I think the, the what I really like about Ventros and the model that they have is that it encourages repeat customers. Uh, you know, so you know, with all these health supplements and such, you're not looking at one-time bias. You're looking at someone if you can convince them they like it, it's gonna be a recurring customer. So we hope and we anticipate that you know the base sales uh, would remain constant and it's incremental every month with just uh, new customers. So let me just stop here again. Uh, if there are any questions, happy to take it. Uh, otherwise, we can continue on to the demo. Andrew, I'm Christina. Hi, Christina. I, I would like to ask, uh, the fund is only 1,000 each time or each month? Yeah, so the 1,000 is a line of credit. Um, so basically, think of it as a credit card, right? Um, and that line of credit is uh, given to Ventros for the beneficiary, meaning to say, month one, they can spend up to 1,000 as long as the sales come true and the payment is made by the customer, the beneficiary gets that full 1,000 again, right? So it's not on a reducing basis. But because of the 85 ringgit repayment every month, so month one, you get the full 1,000 ringgit. Month two, it's minus 85. Month three, minus another 85. So it's on the declining basis over time. But you don't have to worry about that because the whole concept with a uh, credit line is the moment an uh, order has been made and paid for, you basically get topped up. So, um, you can continue ordering, uh, no issue at all. Uh, if let's say the customer would like to buy I'm laser, but that is cost 4,180. Yeah. But uh, only credited 1,000. So how we can go for it? For now, we are focusing only on the Fortico product, uh, not the uh, watch. That's I the one. Okay. Yeah, that's something that, you know, if the uh, beneficiaries can do really well and build up a good um, base of sales, uh, this is something that we can increase the limit um, and review that, you know, in six months time or um, as required. The, the funds available is not the issue. Uh, the issue is, will the beneficiaries be productive? And can we achieve our social impact goals? Um, so, yeah, I mean, Hong Leong is a very big and steady bank. Uh, I think last quarter they made a lot of money, a lot of profits. Uh, so, uh, asking them for more money is not the issue, it's about our performance. Okay, understand. Thank you. Okay, let's just go to the last page. All right, so just a little bit about us. Um, so LFI is run by myself and Damo. Um, well, we've, for a FinTech startup, uh, the both of us are obviously not as young as some of our other uh, compatriots out in the market. Um, myself, I've been in uh, professional services, focusing on uh, financial services, working with uh, the big banks in Australia, uh, micro uh, credit companies in Cambodia, Laos, Thailand. Um, and now, you know, obviously we're working with a few banks, uh, digital banks. Um, but, you know, the way that we look at banking today is very, very different. Um, and, you know, Damo has been with very big uh, tech companies. He's been CEO of a listed uh, company or CEO for uh, IBM subsidiary in Germany. Um, our role really is to rethink finance and how uh, banking can be, you know, more inclusive, especially for the little guys. Um, and that's really what we've been wanting to push for. Uh, we've been in the market, uh, you know, we've been uh, quite active in quite a few um, fintech driven uh, competitions. I think we've done pretty all right uh, for, for a young uh, fintech. Um, but the idea here is that we are here to stay. Uh, this is a program 
that we intend to be uh, sustainable. Um, and this is not the only bank that we'll be doing this with. Uh, we do have it in the pipeline to work with other banks. Um, and one of the other banks is looking at a much higher credit limit. But that's probably more for established uh, micro SMEs who have you know, at least three years of uh, track record. Uh, whereas in this specific program, the uh, requirements are very, very uh, basic. Uh, we have no expectation that any of the applicants or beneficiaries uh, have any experience at all. So this is a very good entry program for anyone. Uh, okay, so if we're done here and no further questions, let's uh, do a quick demo of uh, the app, okay? All right. Um, if we can stop sharing, then I will. I will do the uh, thing. Okay. So I will now share my uh, mobile phone screen. Okay. So what you're seeing here is live, and this is my own mobile. Our app is called Elfie. <clears throat> uh, we are only available on Google Play, right? Because our target market, uh, if they're using an iPhone, uh, which is worth five, 6,000 ringgit, they're not our target market, right? Uh, so we only have a Google Android app. Uh, you can look for us uh, and there are a couple of Elfies on Google Play. So you need to put in Elfie Finance. So once you have downloaded the app, um, go through the normal login processes or uh, registration. I've already um, registered, so I log on. And this is what you will see uh, on the main page, right? So these are the details of the program. Uh, let me walk you through step by step. So this is our main menu. Um, it's in English and uh, BM. So let's start with the uh, user profile. So let me go through with you how we want this to look like um, so that uh, we do it the right way. And uh, I'll need your help to train the applicants to make sure that they are doing it right. Yeah. So let's start with this. This is a picture of my son wearing my uh, boxing gloves. This is not what we want to see. <laughs> Right, uh, so you really need to change this uh, picture to be a proper picture that is recent. A picture of the applicant uh, that reflects their current state. Uh, I think, you know, we do not want ladies to put their pictures uh, that are with filters on or, you know, with, with uh, special effects and all that sort of stuff. This is part of our KYC process. All right, so we are going to do some checking between the uh, profile picture with the uh, IC picture. All right, so again, name, please put the name as per the IC. Um, date of birth, all these are very simple and normal things. Um, the age will be calculated for you, so no worries about that. My card photo. This is really your IC photo. If we find that this is what's been uh, submitted, we have no choice but to reject it, right? Uh, I mean, this is just an example of putting food pictures instead of the IC. Um, so again, this doesn't meet our requirements. Uh, and unfortunately, we will have to either reject or you know make additional calls and ask them to do it properly. Um, this is all that is required. So really just the profile picture, the name, details, all that sort of stuff, and that's it. All right? We have additional information that we do ask for. But this only happens when they want to apply for the loan. Right? Uh, so, you know, we try to make the registration process as simplified and as quick as possible. And once they're committed to wanting to apply for the loan, then only uh, the other things will kick in. So let's go back to the product. 
So what happens here essentially is once you're registered and once you're put in the correct details, come down to this, you can enter the promo code as Ventros. And this will help us uh, know how to route the funds as well as to reconcile the applicants to the right supplier. You can click apply um, and that's it, right? Now, there will be some questions uh, around this. And this is where we have provided some basic uh, FAQ. But, uh, you know, if you have any additional questions or that, uh, you know, there are certain reservations, uh, please email us uh, and we're happy to um, take additional questions. So let's apply. So as I mentioned, once the apply um, function is clicked, uh, this is where we ask for a lot more information. So, you know, we like to know the marital status, number of children, number of children is very important to us because again, it comes back to our social impact uh, mission. Uh, we would like to be able to keep the kids in school if they are school going age. We have worked with a few uh, beneficiaries where, you know, due to uh, financial circumstances, the kids who are in secondary school were asked to stop school and help the parents uh, with, you know, uh, doing side businesses, right? That's something that we really want to address. Um, so this is a very important one for us. Level of education, all these are pretty simple things. Uh, and then the address. That's it. And then you click apply. So this is where the magic happens. Uh, I mentioned earlier that we specialize in alternative credit scoring. Um, so we leverage on uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning to do this. For us to do this, uh, we need permission to enter and obtain certain information from your smartphone. So we need you to press uh, allow, and we only want to do this when the app is active. So we're not gonna keep anyone's data. We're not interested in uh, you know, personal pictures and all these sort of things. Because we work with banks, uh, ooh, there are a lot of compliance matters that we are very concerned with. Um, and one of the key ones is the Personal Data Protection Act. So this is something that we take very seriously uh, and that we ourselves are audited. So uh, we, we are very serious about this. The key thing here is before anything happens, we are asking for explicit consent, right? You allow us to do what we need to do. And if you choose not to allow us, then we cannot proceed. So once you click proceed, we have our consent uh, document here, which you need to read. And this is essentially um, giving us access to do credit checks, to perform what we need to do. Um, and you have to click accept terms and conditions, submit. So once that submission happens, um, we now go to your phone management system. And within this, you'll see our app. So, you know, uh, click Elfie, allow usage access. Now this is very important, right? Because if you don't give us usage access, we cannot do our work. But this usage access that we are asking for is no different from, you know, say, uh, Facebook or Instagram or any of the other social media things. We are not scraping for personal information. We are looking at metadata and to understand the type of data that you have, uh, as well as the type apps that you have. So once you click that, you click back. And then the risk profiling happens. So generally, this will be pretty quick. Now, once you see this, basically what it means is that your, uh, the applicant's credit score has been sent to us for uh, additional approval, 
right? And as you can see, it took less than five seconds. Uh, so once that happens, we go into the uh, progress uh, stage. Now, from here, it takes 10 working days. Uh, for LFI, five seconds, but then we've got to go through the bank process. And within this 10 working days uh, is where the bank account uh, is opened. Um, you know, the communication between Ventros and yourselves, uh, as well as uh, the signing of the uh, social finance agreement upon uh, approval. So what we have done is we also have an Alfie Academy, and this is really some very brief, um, you know, financial literacy information. And this is where we have worked with Credo Foundation. Um, and here, you know, you can look at the videos. Um, well, obviously not this guy. <laughs> um, so all these videos are basically meant to help uh, educate uh, in a very simple manner, things about uh, financial literacy, savings, budgeting, and all that sort of things. So now, the waiting happens, right? Uh, because you're waiting for the uh, loan um, approval. So this is where you can go to list of loans. And this will tell you where you are, whether you're in the processing queue, approved. Uh, people might change their mind. They might want to withdraw, and we allow that as well. Um, and it goes from processing to approved. You can withdraw if you want and then dispersed. So dispersed, the difference between approved and dispersed is that we have approved the loan, but we need the loan agreement signed. And that's done through the app, right? So once that is signed, then it'll be dispersed. So in the approved uh, listing, you'll see exactly the same as this uh, card here, just that it'll have a, contract um, PDF document, which you can click. And then uh, the moment you click uh, agree, um, done. So that's pretty much it uh, from a processing perspective. And then the other things are, you know, the typical app uh, functionality, changing your password notifications. People always have questions. Uh, and this is where we also have a WhatsApp group uh, that, well, it's not a WhatsApp group, per se, is a WhatsApp uh, helpline where anyone can um, contact us if they've got issues with the app, they've got certain parts that they don't understand, they want clarifications, they want to know why the money has not been uh, dispersed yet, what's the delay, they made an appointment with the MDS team, the guy didn't turn up, all those things can be emailed to us uh, or uh, communicated to us through WhatsApp. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, are there any questions or anything that you'd like me to clarify? When the customer apply for the loan, are they willing to show a video from them? Uh, no. So so the question was uh, when a beneficiary is interested uh, and when they apply, do they need to show anything from Bentros? Uh, no, not necessary. So the only thing that they do uh, is when they apply, uh, and if you look at the promo code there, that's probably the only place that they might want to put in Ventros. But what we do, uh, so this is everything done from a B2C perspective between LV and the applicants. But in the background, uh, between Ventros and ourselves, Ventros will also send us a list uh, for us to reconcile and to make sure that we know this person comes under the Ventros component uh, so that uh, we don't mix it up and make sure that we route the funds to the right supplier. Uh, Andrea, I'm Christina again. Yes, Christina. Uh, that means they have to download the Alfie apps yes, to please. apply. Yeah. And then they put in the Ventros uh, 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 promo code. 
means they, that the they money can, if they want to uh, if they don't that's also fine because we'll be able to track them mm. once they submitted means wait for 10 days yeah. once approved then they can choose their purchasing products yeah that's right I think we made it very simple in this uh, first stage is only the vertical. I see. And then... Uh, if you have any other requests, please speak to Mr. Lim or Adam. <laughs> <laughs> and then one more thing is, uh, just now you said um, only iPhone cannot download, ma'am. But I'm, I'm using Huawei P40. Huh? Yesterday I tried and this morning also I tried. Huh? It cannot be download from my uh, apps gallery from this uh, Huawei. Right, okay. So Huawei has got its own um, version of Google Play because of the uh, issues between US and China. Uh, we have not <laughs> launched any versions for the Huawei um, platform. We only have for Google Play. Actually, that's a good point. Um, from our research, we did not find many who are exclusively using Huawei's uh, version of Google Play. But as I understand it, uh, there is a workaround where Huawei phones who are not Google, uh, who are not an original Android phones, there's a workaround where you can actually still access Google Play. Uh, because you're still mm. running on Android. Uh, I do not know the technical side of that, um, mm. but I understand it's available on the market. There is something on the Huawei um, app platform that you can download that can access the Google uh, Play apps. Yeah, I heard that before. But anyway, there is no other ways uh, besides this uh, LP app to apply this, right? Yeah. The only reason why we need this Elfie app is because of our credit scoring algorithm. Uh, you know, the question I earlier had, uh, how do we determine whether they're B40 or not? Uh, we use the algorithm to determine it. Uh, I mean, let me just give you a bit of perspective. What our algorithm does is we want to assess uh, whether this person is a good borrower, right? And one of the things that we look at uh, is, for example, discipline, right? Financial discipline. If a borrower is disciplined, meaning that they are likely to pay on time, right? Uh, but how do we see that in the usage of mobile phones, right? So this is where Elfie's specialty comes in, where we use a lot of psychology to um, link up the financial behaviors with smartphone usage behaviors. So a very simple one. Uh, for those who set alarm clocks, how many times do you snooze uh, be before you switch off the alarm? Right? And we only look at Monday to Friday. So you know, generally working, working days, right? And if 6 a.m. the alarm is ringing, it snoozes for four times until 6.45 before it's eventually switched off. Uh, you can infer that this guy is not very disciplined, right? Uh, but we don't look at this in isolation. There are a lot of other things that we look at. Uh, you know, another example might be how organized this person is. Uh, and what we look at is the amount of junk on the phone. Uh, and if it's above a certain percentage, you can again infer that uh, this guy is not very organized because uh, they just don't clean up the uh, apps and uh, they maintain a lot of uh, inefficient usage of memory. So those are some of the things that we pick up through our algorithm to determine whether or not this guy has the right behaviors. So I hope I, I explained that a little bit. Unfortunately, we're only on Google Android for now, uh, given that there's a very high percentage of Malaysians using uh, Android. Andrew. Yes. This Christy, uh, I think not many people are comfortable you know, with sharing their data and things like that. 
Sure. So this is your pre prerequisite like, because it's the, the privacy, you know. Yeah. Uh, so usually when we see this type, we don't we don't go further. Yeah. yeah. So how do you all totally come understandable? Um, so you know we've had lots of discussions around this, um, and frankly, that's one of the reasons why Hong Leong has uh, uh, decided to work with us. Right. Um, the basic answer to this is. For the guys who are underserved, they can either go to a bank, uh, fill up forms, and not be able to provide uh, other documents and not get a loan, or they can allow us to access their metadata uh, and you know get some form of financing. Now, I need to uh, clearly define data versus metadata. We do not access your pictures. We do not access your uh, SMSs and all that sort of stuff. What we are interested in is the metadata, which is data about data. We are interested to know how many apps do you have, what categories of apps these are, right? So each app that you download, it will be categorized either as a game, uh, is it a productivity app, is it a financial app, and that's what we're interested in. So one of the gauges of financial literacy is, uh, does the user have at least one e-wallet, uh, one banking app, and perhaps one insurance app? Um, and what's the usage patterns behind this? So if they have these uh, apps, but they never use it, uh, they still won't get the uh, extra points uh, from a credit scoring perspective. Uh, but Christy, I think the, the answer is, uh, if they don't allow us to do this, uh, we cannot proceed. So it's uh, quite straightforward in that sense. Okay. And I, I'm looking at your inventory credit. Uh, you say 1000 is given, that's a $20. I know if let's say 85 a month, is one then zero one zero. year is 1020, uh, about 2% yeah. uh, the interest. Yeah. Uh, well, so I, they yeah. have to pay uh, $10 processing fees. Lah. The processing fee, uh, Hong Leong has decided to pick it up. So there's no upfront fee. Uh, it's, yeah, so that's it. Okay, so it's 1020 uh, each time uh, a year lah, if they a apply. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. But actually, the beneficiaries will not see this money uh, because all they will know is that each time they order, uh, Ventros will deliver. That's it. And they can order up to their credit limit. So we can say this $20 is for a service la, to, to, yeah. to your, your company, la, right? Yeah. For helping to do this yeah. project. Keep okay. the lights on, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Hi, Andrew. Um... Hi. Yeah, uh, so sorry, I got one question. Oh, no, that, uh, for every, every applicant who are interested to apply for the loan, they have to download their own apps and then apply by themselves, right? Yes. Okay, we cannot uh, use our phone to apply for them. Am I right? Yeah, because uh, we need their data, not yours. Okay, so uh, okay, how about for those uh, they don't know how to operate, they use their, I mean, their kids' phone or this thing, there's no problem, with, am I right? <laughs> uh, interesting question. Uh, the credit scoring will be then done based on their kids' uh, credit profile. Oh, so I mean, okay. let, let me give you a very simple scenario, okay? Because this is based on Islamic finance, uh, we will not want to have any applications that are related to gambling. Right, so if we have any in our app scan, we see any 4D Toto or you know uh, casino apps and all that sort of stuff, then that would uh, put them at a huge disadvantage. Right? Okay, I understand. Thank you. Sure. Andrew. Yes. Uh, one more time, uh, it's only strictly for B40, for the M40. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Uh, we will help you decide. Uh, even T20 oh. also, if, if it's, I mean, like, for example, if the lady is a housewife and the husband's a millionaire 
and she wants to earn some uh, side income for herself. Uh, so she applies for this, right? And maybe our algorithm says that, okay, you know, like, looks like she's a good uh, borrower. But her address is in Damansara Heights in the, you know, bungalow area. So it doesn't make sense, right? Uh, and our algorithm will flag this up to say, okay, uh, you know, this person is from a high affluence area. Then we might want to do additional inquiry. Uh, maybe this is the, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe a local helper staying in the place. So the local helper is the one who's applying. Then, you know, in that case, maybe it's a, it's a isolated case that we can approve. Uh, but we are looking at so many other factors as well. Okay. And just now you said about but, the you know, SMP. Uh, I think this, let me say also, don't worry about filtering too much. I think the only filter you need to do is, do they really want to start a business? Um, and, you know, are they serious about learning the skills? so that eventually they, they build a business that they can run, right? Um, because otherwise, the, we can approve a lot of people and be very loose about it, but uh, if they're not making full use of the funds, the overall performance gets dragged down, and that's bad for everyone. And just now you're talking about the SMEs, others bank uh, will be uh, having highest... Uh, Credit line, yeah. Uh, it will be soon or already have it. Um, those we're still working on it, but their criteria will be much tighter because they are going to provide much higher uh, credit limit. So you know they're looking at, for example, minimum three years. Um, yeah. Uh, track record. The business license or the, yeah, they want to see uh -huh. bank statements. SSM registration, all those sort of things. Okay. Yeah. So again, you know, like uh, target market is totally different. Uh, I, if anything, in our mind, we're thinking that if the guys do well in this one and we help them pass the first year, we get some financing from Hong Leong, you know, working capital for two years. Hey, maybe by that time they're ready and then we can bring them to the next bank for, you know, other things. Okay. And then just now, I don't understand that you said uh, they have a credit line 1,000 and they, they make the repayment 85 for the next month, the following month, and then they can buy again for 1,000 or no? No, no. So it'll be on a reducing basis. Every month, 85 bring it less. But um, again, you know, I wouldn't be too worried about that because that is managed by Ventros, right? So as long as the ordering keeps coming uh, and is within that credit limit, uh, Ventros will be happy to disperse. Because I don't understand. Think, again, think of this as an uh, inventory credit, right? So our money is packed with uh, Ventros, meaning to say that these uh, stock items are already paid for, right? On behalf of the beneficiaries. So if your beneficiary has an order for, say, uh, 1,000 ringgit right, in month one, because it's already paid for, no problem, that stock can go. But the moment that payment happens, you get back that uh, you know, uh, 1,000 ringgit. Um, I mean, your RRP will be higher than 1,000 ringgit, right? But the idea is that it comes back. So in month two, you only get 915. Right? Mm. With the 915, your credit limit is reduced by 85 ringgit. So if you order again for more than 1,000, right, Ventros has to make a decision. Is Ventros going to top up the, uh, the, the above that ceiling or are they just going to follow the ceiling? That's a question for Mr. Lim and uh, Adam. Right? But from the program's perspective, uh, up to 915, no issue, go ahead. So the next month, again, minus another 85. So, you know, coming towards like month 10, 11, 12, uh, there'll be very little money left, okay? But by that time, they should also be quite steady already, right? Um, and we give this program up to 12 months because there might be some slow starters. But really, the design of the program is within five to six months, 
they should be steady to have a base uh, group that are constantly ordering already, right? Uh, and if the ordering are coming direct to Ventros, uh, there's no money, there's, there's no need for this uh, credit line anymore. The credit line is to prepay, so no out-of-pocket comes up from the uh, beneficiaries. We buy the stocks mm. for them. So. I still can't get to you about you, what you say, the second man 915. What's it mean? Uh, the, the beneficiary already paid 85. Yep. And then the, the credit so line is right. Minus uh, 85. Mm. Okay. Um, so Adam says there'll be a separate training course. Uh, to go into the details of that, uh, which would be done soon. Yeah, which would be done soon. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah. But I mean, like, if, if I'm a beneficiary of this, my job is to go and sell as many as possible, uh, and I don't need to worry about, uh, you know, putting, putting any money up front for it. My only job is to just go out and sell. And I know that each transaction, I'm going to make at least 20% gross profit. Mr. Andrew, for, uh, for again. Uh, for yeah. me, Andrew, okay? <laughs> no need. Okay, to. just now, you mentioned about the 10 working days. This 10 working days is when we apply, Q yeah. is approved. 10 working days, huh? Yes. Is it minimum 10 working days or maximum 10 working days? The agreement with the bank is 10 working days. Uh, but again, the key delay that we have seen so far is the opening of the bank account. Um, we've had experiences where, you know, two appointments have been made and then the uh, person actually had something else to do, they forgot about it, and then the MDS has to go again. Uh, and to be fair to the MDS, they're not just servicing us, they're servicing the wider bank's customers. So, you know, each appointment needs to be uh, set in stone. So, you know, if the bank account cannot be open within the 10 working days, then that's surely going to delay the process. We don't see any other reason for any delays. What I mean also that we apply and approve because after approval, then we open the bank account. So yeah. the, the, the time between apply application and approval is 10 days, huh? Including the bank account opening. Oh, include bank account opening. So approval could be less than 10 days, lah. Yeah. All right? Okay. Yeah. What about East Malaysia? The same thing applies, it in East Malaysia? Yeah, so that's a good question. I think, to be fair to the bank, I think within a reasonable um, uh, distance to their branch, that one should be fine within the 10 working days. But if there are specific, uh, difficult to reach places, then I, I do not know. Um, but that's something that we can discuss with the bank because one way to do it is to group them up uh, in, a, in a central location and then they can do it one time. Okay, that's good because I have about, about eight to 10, uh, what they call interested applicants from Cebu. See, sure. shouldn't be a problem, Hong Yong. Yeah, yeah, no, it shouldn't. I mean, I'll be okay. surprised, right? Yeah, they say that they are one of the top three, top five banks, and then uh, they got uh, coverage issues. <laughs> so now the main problem is getting into your app, Alfie app. I tried my iPhone, iPhone SA couldn't. I tried this morning, my Samsung also cannot. So, <laughs> oh, why cannot, yeah? I don't know. Uh, what, what was the message they came out? Uh, I can't remember already. Uh. So that's why. Well, um, okay. Please WhatsApp this number um, if you've got any issues, and then my technical guys can look into it. Okay, good then. Thank you. Uh, hello, Mr. Andrew. Hi. Hi, I'm Jennifer from Sabah. Okay, Hi. I tried to, I tried to log in into the uh, LP app and open up the, you know, Try to install, and I also got. I'm not able to proceed because I wonder under the password what should I type. 
Oh, okay. There's a minimum password requirement, uh, which I think is eight characters alphanumeric. Because there's no guidelines or whatever. So I oh, I see. Okay. Put my telephone number, and then I proceed with this uh, process. Maybe ask for a password. Then when I'm, I set in a password, and I press register, and a, a, a red note comes uh, short up. I have I've forgotten what is that. Right. Uh, yeah, that's why I cannot uh, go further than that. Sure, sure, I understand. Um, okay, again, please send me a, a WhatsApp to the uh, number, um, and then I will surely look into this. I think this morning I have written an email, you know, because I saw the helpline to help that. Yeah. I have written an email, this uh, uh, email already, so I think I haven't got a reply. Okay, sure. Um, well, I'll make sure that my guys look into this. Uh, okay, okay. I, I, I try again. You know, I wonder this password because I haven't done this for the first time, so there, there isn't any guidelines for me to say something wrong with the password, creation password. So no, no, I didn't, no, I didn't pretend to show me. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so we'll see into it. Thank you, Ms. Andrew. Sure. Yeah, just Andrew, like, right? Christina yep. again. <laughs> I would like to ask just now a poll asking about the opening the an account. That means whether approved or not, they should go open an account first. Uh no. Am I right? No, no, no. We the account that we are gonna open for these guys would be under the MDS. And the MDS has specific instructions to expedite these account openings. Because if the guys walk into the bank and all that, the paperwork can be submitted, but then they follow the bank process, which can take some time. Um, but for us, we go through a special uh, team and uh, they will follow our timelines. So yeah, please don't go and open uh, you know, any account. <laughs> You mean you mean once they download the app, submit the application, and then wait for the instruction to open yeah. the account? The MDS so, will contact them. Oh, will contact them. But yeah. is it uh, going to any branch? In... No, no, the MDS team will go to them. Oh, I see, yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So this is a so, special service that uh, the bank has given to Elfi because you know we we want to make sure that we are as friendly as possible and we also understand you know we're looking at the community guys who you know they just we want to make it as easy and convenient for them basically right uh, because okay. you know you ask a B40 to go to the nearest branch it might mean that they have to take time off from work so, you know, they, they lose some uh, income from there or that they might be a single parent with young kids. So they have to bring everyone on a bus to go to the nearest branch. We want to avoid all of that. That's why the MDS is available to help uh, with this specific thing. And also because the MDS has a direct line to the operations team that are in charge of this particular program, uh, we can then track and follow up on your behalf as well. Okay. No. Good. Thank you. This is not a normal bank process thing. So, you know, we're quite privileged to be able to, to do this this way. Hi, Andrew. I have a point, one question here. Sure. Okay, for those existing uh, Hong Leong customer, uh, Hong Leong bank account holder, so do they still need to open another new one or use the existing one? Mm, good question. Um, I will need to get back to you on that. I think generally, our understanding with the bank is that they prefer new one uh, because this should come under Hong Yong Islamic Bank uh, savings account. Okay, okay. Because right now, what I, I know, uh, 
uh, you all are limited to certain account number. They cannot open more than how many account per person, is it? Am I right? Uh, I am not aware of that, uh, but for sure, through MDS, we can open the accounts. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Well, if you have any other questions, uh, you can reach out to me uh, through our WhatsApp or email. Um, and you know we'll, we'll try to reply to you as soon as we can. Um, but I will also look into this um, password complexity uh, issue. As I understand it, uh, that should be quite clear and uh, a pop-up should come up to explain what it is. But let me look into this. Um, any other questions? Otherwise, we can wrap up. Um, but again, you know, I'm available if you have any other questions. Um, so let me pass you to Adam to wrap it up. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, just to uh, to kind of uh, uh, give you some, uh, to brief you a little bit about the program that we have actually designed for this purpose. I think some of you may have known what, what we're going to make this program to be successful is that we have to make a package. What's the package for the $1,000 that they have with us, right? They're given to us. The company is going to give them about one and a half time worth of product. For example, uh, in this case, we take 40 co as example. So with the $1,000 that we receive, we are actually providing a 1.5, which is about 1,005 worth of product, which is equivalent to eight boxes. Uh, sorry, nine boxes of portico. Okay. Now, like just now, I think somebody was asking, uh, how are they going to do so? With this product that they are having, uh, they can start to sell with you know, because the stock is with them, uh, the hand in their hands. So they're going to start selling. When they sell, right, they're going to replenish us again. I mean, they're going to buy back the stock again to replenish the stock. So it's like a mini kind of a, a mobile thing uh, for to help them to, to over a period of time until they become more independent. Now, not forgetting, uh, though we start with the uh, 40 co over a period of time, maybe we will slowly, slowly introduce other products. The reason being is that, as you know, this is the Islamic bank, uh, Islamic uh, financing. So they are talking about, uh, what do you call that, uh, halal product. So one of the halal products will be 40 co Of course, uh, I, I, I wish that uh, they also can start to sell this, uh, our, uh, what do you call that, our GL Plus. You know, GL plus is another, even though this halal is from, uh, uh, from another country or overseas country, we hope that we can accept it. With that, then we have two products that come under this uh, special pack, uh, packaging. You know? Understand, uh? I hope you understand that. Eh? Uh, any question? Uh? No, uh, so uh, for uh, uh, just a little bit of patience. Uh, we hope that by uh, the, as soon as possible, uh, we can actually start to conduct training really to explain to you all more in, in terms of because uh, the, uh, for our, our free side, they are more interested to explain to us the application, how to apply for it, what kind of advantage, everything. For our side, it's the business model because if you notice, uh, there are a few things that is required in the training whereby we also want them, this sponsor uh, who sponsor these people uh, to be around with them to teach them how to do our business especially in terms of training them how to talk about the product, like how to promote the product, and also our marketing plan. As you know, uh, there will be more things to discuss uh, during the training. Uh, so uh, for this part where you're talking about the uh, soft launching, we are just focusing on how to uh, also open and how to apply for the loan. Uh, thereafter, once you approve everything, the, those people on board now, uh, we will be asking them to go through a series of training. Uh, and this, this training includes how to do this business using the uh, Bentrop model. Okay? Any other question? Uh? If no question, then uh, we will close for today's uh, stop launching. Does the VRP come for 1K and above? Oh, yes, it does. If the, the business model is exactly the same as the trust model, that means uh, the VRP, everything is not applicable. The only difference is that for the $1,000 that they would deposit with us, we had to be attractive for this participant to join us now. So we are giving a credit limit of about one and a half times, that means 1.5 times. 
which means there are roughly about nine boxes, nine boxes up. Okay, with these nine boxes, they can start to go and sell, correct? They can sell to their friends. The, 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 the moment that they sell their units, they can actually come back to the office again to buy again. So the buying now, the continuous buying of this uh, replenishment now will be registered as our sales of every, everything applies us. Okay. So I will encourage them, for example, if they want to enjoy the, for example, their personal feel very strong, I will encourage them to you know, top up by using the 1,000, minimum 1,000, so that they can enjoy the VRP. Now, uh, on top of that, uh, we also want to inform that, uh, you know, we are having a very special promotion. Those who actually are uh, now applying, uh, those first, first, sorry, the first 50 applicants are approved, right? Approved, right? They will receive a special gift. So, what is a special gift? The applicant will get 1,000, uh, 1,000, one box of uh, portico, and the sponsor also will get 1,000, uh, one, one box of portico. Okay, so <laughs> for the applicant and the sponsor, both of them, because of their special uh, uh, promotion, they will get one box each. But of course, for the first 50 applicants, uh, Okay. Okay. If there's no other question, okay, we will close uh, for the today's meeting. Thank you very much for uh, to Andrew for making this time available to explain to us. And anyway, if you have any question, please do not hesitate to ask us. You can call me or call Andrew or call uh, whoever uh, available so that we can, we can help you on this. Huh? Thank you very much. Okay. Bye bye, everyone.